So the huge new 3.0 update to lossless scaling and also the recent AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 are both incredible ways to make our games run smoother and more fluid. But which one is the very best? Well, let's test out three games to find out, including one that just blew me away. So two quick things as we start, and that we won't be using the inbuilt real-time monitor within Command Center, as it gives inaccurate FPS readings for AFMF2. So instead, let's head into the AMD app, into performance, hit the overlay tab and enable metrics overlay, which will give us the correct FPS for AFMF2. Second, and you know this if you've been following my recent vids on this, is that both Lossless Scaling 3 and AMD Fluid Motion Frames does not need to be used on this list of games that already have FSR 3 built in, as we use that instead with it being directly built into the game. So for example, I was going to test the amazing Black Ops 6 and also Senua's Saga Hellblade 2, but it's pointless with them both having the superior FSR 3 built into the game. So let's start with one of the ultimate chill games in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, flying over the great New York City. And it had more than its fair share of issues at launch, but I think things have settled down now with the game, thankfully. We're on third watch turbo plugged in mode with this, as it's a very demanding game in terms of graphics. Frankly, I'm amazed it runs at all, even on a handheld gaming PC. And as expected, we're getting around the mid 20s FPS mark on the default settings before adding frame gen. And while it is more than playable in this day, it of course doesn't feel very smooth. So let's head into the settings. Let's disable VSync, which is recommended when using frame gen. Then head into the AMD app and into gaming. Enable AFMF2, which also enables anti lag. And back in the game, we're still hitting around that mid 20 FPS mark with no noticeable improvements in smoothness. So perhaps this Flight Sim 2024 is just one of those games like Forza Horizon 5 2 that just isn't supported by Fluid Motion Frames 2. So let's now prepare for lossless scaling 3 by heading into the settings to change the display mode to windowed, as of course it doesn't work on full screen, unlike AFMF2. Let's disable AFMF2 and Antilag of course, turn scaling off as we'll test out on 1080p in game first. The new LSFG 3.0 is enabled at times 2 mode, hit our all important blue scale button and quickly jump into the game which then goes full screen. And wow, this is a noticeable difference in added smoothness. We've now jumped up from the high 20s to the low 50s which is awesome and this is definitely the way to play this game. There's no lag that I feel, though admittedly it doesn't require fast reflexes and lossless scaling 3.0 is the winner here in this first test. I did learn something interesting filming this in that when I dropped the resolution from 1080 to 900p, enabled SGSR scaling, which I've been using a lot recently in lossless scaling app to boost it back up to 1080p, and when it went back into the game there wasn't any increase in FPS or more importantly in the feel of smoothness. And when I checked the status within the lossless scaling app, it hadn't detected that lower 900p resolution I dropped to within the game. So it looks like lowering the resolution only works in native full screen mode and not in windowed mode that is needed for lossless scaling to work, which is a shame. For our second game test, let's launch the newly released Sniper Elite Resistance that's had very favorable early reviews. Man, don't you just love Windows when it comes to playing day one Game Pass games? We're on a full screen mode at 1080p and vSync is disabled by default and we're on the unchanged graphic default settings too, which is mainly at medium. The first time we load up, we have to install at Denuvu and to cheat. Again, Windows is so great in areas like this compared to Steam OS, which is why I set up dual boots when I installed Bazite. We've dropped down to 70 watts performance, which is insane for a brand new and pretty big title. And we're already hitting in the mid 40s before any frame gen, which is very impressive and right in the sweet spot for AFMF2 and lossless scaling. Unlike Microsoft Flight Sim 24, which barely hit 30 FPS, so it wasn't in the ideal ballpark. So let's go ahead into the AMD app and enable Fluid Motion Frames 2 and Anti-Lag. We've had a nice little boost to be comfortably in the 50 FPS region. And yeah, I would say it does feel a little smoother. If I have a good little run around, it feels nice. And again, no lag, that would be really noticeable to me. And this would be a great way to play this. Let's now head into the settings and change to windowed mode, then disable AFMF2 and anti-lag, and we'll also turn off the AMD monitor as it gets in the way of the blue lossless scaling button. Let's launch the lossless scaling app. No scaling is active and the new 3.0 update is enabled at two times mode. So we can hit that lovely blue button for the timer and quickly head into the game. 
and it's now hitting almost 100 FPS. Hang on, I've got to check we're still on 17 watts performance mode, which we are. And I'll say again, wow, this loss of scaling 3.0 update is insane. This looks and feels so great. Just taking out a Nazi guard here, and man, this game is so fun, by the way. If you're a fan of Hitman or other stealth games, then guys, this is an absolute must play. This is gonna be so much fun to sneak around and take out the baddies. It's now settled into the 80 FPS mark around the open world area. Again, it feels really nice and snappy in terms of no noticeable lag. I think I'd slightly go with Lossless Scaling 3.0 ahead of AFMF2 again, but let us know what you think in the comments. Again, I tried lowering the resolution from 1080 to like 900p, so I could add resolution upscaling in the lossless scaling app, but it was greyed out in window mode, so I couldn't do this. I also turned VSync to on for lossless scaling, and I think I do prefer it on for this. Again, let us know in the comments whether you prefer VSync on or off for this 3.0 update. So with the lossless scaling 3.0 updates now at 2 points and AFMF2 at 0 points, let's see if fluid motion frames can get a win in the last game test. And our final test will be on the game that was in my top three games of last year in Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. And watch my year end awards vid to find out the game that beat it to number one. So we're on 25 watts unplugged, with it being of course a graphically intense AAA game. In the settings we can see we're on native 1080p and the default graphic settings which is pretty much on low for every graphical element. And we're getting around 45 FPS before adding any frame gen, which is exactly at the right spot, which is nice. So let's turn VSync off in the game, enable fluid motion frames 2 and anti lag in the AMD app, and back in the game, it doesn't really feel any different, with no noticeable improvements in FPS. So again, this could very well be a game that AMD has turned off the ability to use fluid motion frames 2 with this game perhaps. In the AMD app, let's turn off AFMF2 and anti lag, and also the AMD monitor. In the game, I've selected windowed and press apply video mode changes that I nearly forgot to. Launch the lossless scaling app where we're on 3.0 again at times two. And back in the game, we're hitting almost 100. Yes, 100 FPS. And as I'm legging it round super fast again, I am blown away. This just feels so smooth and fluid. In my opinion, this is way better than AFMF2. And let's try tweaking stuff. So I'm gonna add VSync back to adaptive, which was the default setting. Let's drop it from 1080 to 900p in the game. And don't forget to press apply changes. Let's limit the FPS to say 50. I'm gonna add upscaling using the SGSR option, which I've been loving recently. And we can see in the status it has indeed been upscaled. And this just looks great. It feels great with it being nice and snappy in terms of latency. And if you haven't played this game yet, then do so as it is so, so awesome. So for me, Lossless Scaling 3.0 is, yep, a three win score streak compared to AFMF2, which in these tests didn't even win one. But let me know which one that you prefer and share your tips in the comments. If you haven't already, I would love it if you could hit that like button and subscribe to the Pete Talks Tech YouTube channel. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Life has knocked me down a few times. It showed me things I never wanted to see. I experience sadness and failures, but one thing is for sure, I always get up. Listen, if you're going through a really tough time right now, then don't give up. You've got this. The hurt and the pain, I promise you, is only temporary and better days are ahead. So stay encouraged today, guys. If you want to find out the game that beat Indiana Jones to be my number one game of last year, then click here. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.